Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, October 12, 2023. 36 degrees at 9.25 a.m. and I am your host, Fa Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I'm here with my brother, Prince and co-star, Michael. My brother, Prince and co-star, Sullivan, Bobby Sullivan, B-A-B-Y, Bobby. Grandfather's sun is shining. It's a beautiful fall morning. Colors are really happening out there. Oh, boy. I'm powerless. Life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. Good luck with that. At least on the faith part. Not so much to be afraid of right at the moment, but a lot of things pissing me off as usual. <laughs> what a fucked up society we are, a species. I just don't know. But anyway, we slept so-so during the course of the night. I think Sully, Michael, and Max were up there with me. Princess might have came up while I was sleeping and Maxie scared her away. We've been up since about 7 o'clock. Got our coffee, made a whole carafe this morning, didn't diss around. Max and Sully went outside. We've had our coffee, said our prayers, read our readings, and we're just sitting here reflecting some things that we looked at at what passes for news today. <laughs> and I just do not get it, but I probably never will. It is what it is, as the saying goes. So let's jump into yesterday. Um, what did we do, honeys? We baked bread. We baked some bread and we did some laundry. And after the bread was baked, we hopped on our Kona and pedaled to save a lot and gave Keith his bread. We baked bread for Keith every week. And continued on a ride out behind Lafarge or Wholesome or whatever it's called now. Holcomb, Wholesome, I don't know. It used to be the cement plant here on Portland Cement. And we went out Misery Bay Road to North Point Road to Indian Road to Elkajan to Hamilton. And did we turn around and come back the way we went out or did we go up the... No, we went up Hamilton Road Nature Trail and um, ended up taking, what, Woodward and then cut through the woods and stopped at Dollar General and got some cough drops and came home to the Loves. On that ride, it started raining and I got pretty muddy. I had planned on stopping by and see seeing someone and talking about a a position with AARP. I don't know if, it, if it's kind of like a volunteer paid position to help at one of their... I forget what the name of the club is where people with some mental health issues can go and hang out and have some companionship. And Anyway... I was going to do my ride, go back and see this person and talk to them and ask them some questions because they told me if I had any questions about the job to come and see them or the process to apply for it. And anyway, after it rained and then I got all filthy, I changed plans and decided, well, we'll do that today. So I guess that's on our list of to-dos today. But we came home and had a salad and a burger and Hung with the cats, read to the cats, watched a movie, 
went to bed and here we are. And I'm trying to remember what movie we watched. I can never remember. <laughs> the old brain is soft and getting softer. And I'm just trying not to remember so much anymore. And it's a struggle just to stay in the moment, which I'm not very good at doing. I'm working on that again. It's a never-ending job. It is a never-ending job. Oh, boy. So, having said all that, meaningless nothing. There's that Michael. Look at that sweet boy. And that Bobby Sullivan, who's doing the best he can with what he's been given. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I guess neither am I. So I guess we're a good pair. And with that, we're going to take a break. Now, before I do, I'm going to, I'm going to mention how I, I've been struggling, no doubt about that. Grieving the loss of Samuel, you know, even though it's been over five weeks. This isn't something that just ends. It's a long, drawn-out process. And he was really special to me. And I miss him. There's no doubt about that. And there's no sense denying that to myself. Anybody that doesn't understand it, well, that's your problem, and I don't really want any advice about it. We all grieve in our different ways, and there's no proper way to do it or not do it. So anyway, <clears throat> I, I really, once I got riding on my bike ride, I really, for the first time in a long time, got into the colors out there and the, the weather and the dif different changing patterns of the weather. And It's that time of the year where you can get just about every kind of weather there is in the course of a single day. It can go from blue sky to gray sky to raining to sleet and snow. We didn't have any of that, but it's just nice to be connected to that, to my brothers and sisters of the forest world that God created. So-called civilization and humanity and <laughs> I don't even want to get into it. I hate people. So anyway, we're back. Got my usual aches and pains and a few more. Falling apart but still going to do my best to keep putting one foot in front of the other. Got a sore throat today, chest pains, shoulders killing me, knees are killing me, legs are killing me, muscles are tight. Need to loosen up. Maybe do a little stretching and yoga today. I don't know. My bike riding's really been down this month and last month compared to what it's been. Uh, since May, when I started using Strava, I've got nearly 3,200 miles in, and I did start biking, you know, at the first of the year. And I know I can add at least another 1,000 to that, if not more, because I did quite a bit of biking in April and March. So anyway, and it helps me deal with things and get some fresh air in my lungs. And get out in places where I don't have to have contact with people. Yeah, and then it gives me something to look forward to, to come home to these loves and a warm, safe, dry place and some good food. Yeah, and a book and a crossword puzzle. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Well, the light from Grandfather's Son and the warmth are feeling really good. Mikey's over in the rocker. Sully's still with me. Mackie's in the living room. Elsie's upstairs. And here's my daily wish to uh, hope and pray that every person that's in some kind of a position of authority, every person that's, whether a politician a lawmaker, a city official of any type, that they come to their senses 
be accountable for what they think, think, say, and do, start writing and passing laws and enforcing laws that help honest people, not make them criminals. And if not, they can all rot in hell. And I hope they all get their just rewards because there aren't many good ones out there, in my opinion. And they're just making this shit show known as humanity be a bigger shit show. So isn't that cheerful? From the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burden, empty, hollow, crack, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, and forlorn soul, piss off. Happy No Complaint Thursday, and thanks for not tuning in.